Hey guys, it's Gerald from Bass Kicking Adventures. Got a pretty warm day in North Carolina today. About 70 degrees, a little bit of wind. Try to catch some bass. I got some company out here with me today. Got four geese right there and there's a few more back there in the back. But I don't mind them. Got a little bit of a clog there on the drain. I'm gonna bust that up shortly. Let all this wash downstream. Bullfrog. Dang, it seems early in the year for that. If any of you guys have watched any any of my other videos, my little girl, she's uh, getting ready to be 10, but she's a part of this channel also. She's just been, uh, you know, she's in school, so she don't get a chance to come with me a lot during the week. But uh, that's something that went another bullfrog. That's something that uh, me and her is going to do this year for the first time. I'm going to take her, take her frog gigging. And she's never ate frog legs before, and I love them. And I've already got permission at uh, two ponds. I can go in and get the frogs. And I think Aubrey will enjoy that. got a birthday coming up March 7th and she wants one of these SLX DCs she absolutely loves mine she picked it up was casting it like a pro it's the by far the best reel I've ever had so, got a feeling she's going to end up with a uh, her first upper end bait caster. She deserves it. She's a great kid. Respects everybody. Straight A student. Incredible athlete. And she absolutely loves the outdoors.
let all that junk wash down the creek here. She loves coming over here and busting up any little dams where the leaves and stick are stopping the flow of the water. She loves busting those two up right there. I'll leave those two for her. So this is not my pond. It's a pond that's close to me. A good friend owns it. And he gives me permission to fish out here and I told him I'll take care of it. Alright guys, I gotta make a couple changes here. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and it is way too warm for that. And I'm going to switch to a plastic crawfish. I'll be back in a few minutes. And there goes a... Pretty sure it was a muskrat. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. But he's about 10 feet from the bank over there. Alright, I'll be back shortly. Alright guys, I'm back. Switched over to the crawfish in this particular color I've had good luck yeah, out of this pond. Got the skunk off the board. I am gonna pick him up. I'm just gonna let him go. And while I was reeling him in, I saw what well, looked like a pretty decent one swirl right in this area. Tree frog is doing a lot of chattering. All right, guys, I'm gonna try this little spinner bait right here. Got a little three inch swim bait on it. Let's give it a try.
Hear that hoot owl over there. Fishing with this little spinner bait, that's kind of kind of about what I expected. Turn this guy loose. followed it right to the bank and then decide to take it now the owner of the pond told me there's some big crappy in here I've never well I did fish for them one time I brought some crappy minnows down here um, but the only thing I caught was bass off the crappy minnows that's the first fish other than a bass I've caught out of this pond with you guys that one there felt pretty decent <sighs> Dang on it. I don't know how in the world I missed him I mean he hit it pretty hard 